the way we see Rodman get underappreciated for being flamboyant and his own guy, do I know anybody who was underappreciated because of who they are? Yeah, very cl- very well, actually, by the way. <laughs> I would assume that, that uh, I, w- I was talking about myself. <laughs> but it is real. I, I had to tell Chuck, like, one of the first days. Chuck Pagano was our coach. One of the first things Chuck told me was, imagine how good you would be if you didn't tweet. <laughs> And I had to explain to him, like, would you rather me go back to going out every night? Like, instead of laying on my bed and just tweeting? Like, I, I don't understand how that goes hand in hand. And he goes, yeah, but just your focus on football. I was like, have you seen me practice yet? Like, you haven't seen me practice or work yet, right? He's like, yeah, li- yeah, but listen, maybe dial it back a little bit. I'm like, probably not, right? Like, that is literally what I'm, I don't know how those two. And by the way, uh, I'm just getting good at punting now. Like, now is not the time to tell me to do anything different. So, this is before he even saw me practice. Now, granted, Chuck and I is really relationship has blossomed into an incredible one but I think whenever he came in the thought he had of me was just through reading through my tweets and things like that and my mug shot and all that and I would assume that happened with the general manager as well in our first practice or something like that we did a I think it was our first walkthrough or something uh we never kicked a ball during a walkthrough during Jim Caldwell, right? Ever, ever kicked the ball. So then he wanted me to kick an onside kick to the defense. And I had like, I think I might've even had like loafers on or something like that. He was like, well, kick an onside kick or whatever to the right. We'll get our hands team ready. Like, I'm like, I was like, I'm not ready. He was like, I'll just kick it. It's either. I kick it and it doesn't go 10 yards, right? So then he starts like calling me out. He starts calling me out. So I was not happy about that, right? I'm like, you didn't tell me I was going to have to do this. So I called him afterwards on my way back home from uh, right after that, on my way back to the dorm. And I was like, please do not let my Twitter or my personality camouflage the fact that I work my ass off. Like, I do not want you. You can't be chew. I don't want you chewing me out in front of people because you put me in a position that doesn't. And then you start making fun of my me tweeting and stuff like that. So there was a time there where me and Chuck really got into it, like the first week of us knowing each other. And then I think after he saw me work and stuff like that, things changed mightily obviously he and I are friends at this point but it's one of those things where whenever you have that outside perspective on somebody and then you get in it's hard not to carry it but then once you meet somebody you're like oh like this person is not what I thought it was and that happened to me a lot and by the way I put myself in that position the mugshot was not great obviously and my tweets back then were savage so I would (laughs) I would assume that that sent some things up but I definitely I definitely experienced that. No, nowhere near to what Rob, I was nowhere near as important as Rodman was to the team or nowhere near the level of awesome that Rodman was. But I did get to experience that little bit of thing uh, where it was like, yo, get uh, do you know me? Like, hey, you, you, hey, what, you read a couple of my tweets and now you know how I work and stuff like that? Like, you get out of here. And then Chuck, by the way, had nothing but respect for that, <laughs> which I appreciate. I'm a Russ guy. I'm a Russ Belt guy. Yeah. I'm going to work my ass off. Now, granted, if I got drunk in the past, I mean, we're going to have to get past that because I, I got a feeling I'm going to get drunk or high again. I just want to let you know that. It's also that. a rust belt. <laughs> I want to let you know that is a rust belt. <laughs>